It's Saturday morning at 10 a.m., so you know what that means. It's time for What's Up, Ocala? With tens of thousands of viewers every month on our YouTube channel and millions so far on TikTok, we are joined by our host, local owner and broker of Great Expectations Realty, Andrea Praber. Good morning and welcome to What's Up, Ocala. I'm your guide through all things Ocala today. Whether you're new to town, thinking about moving here, or you've been around a long time, long enough to remember when there was a six-gun territory or, like me, you had a season pass to Wild Waters. Today's show is all about why people can't seem to stay away from Ocala. Seriously, every time you turn around, there's a new neighbor moving in, right? I swear, we're becoming Florida's best-kept secret, and I hate to tell you this, but it seems like the secret's out. Get this. I was at a CEP breakfast the other day, and Kevin Sheely was, uh, he's the CEO of the CEP, and he's talking about, you know, the changes that have occurred to Ocala and with Ocala over the last few years. And he mentioned that 269 people are moving to Ocala every week. Yep, you heard that right. 269 a week. I remember for a few years, just just a few years ago, going to the realtor convention And every year, it's only a short ride away, maybe about an hour. Every year, I would over and over again have to explain that I was from Ocala. And over and over again, people would look at me like they had no idea what language I was speaking. I would have to explain where Ocala was and how to get there and that it's only an hour away. That's no longer the case. In fact, it hasn't been the case for at least three or four years now. Most people have heard of Ocala now. Most have even been here, which is crazy to me. It really does feel like things have certainly changed. It's like we're the new it town. And I think it's for good reason. I mean, between our beautiful horse country and the very, very affordable housing market, we still have that hometown, small town feel with the big heart. I mean, with all of that alone, what's not to love? So whether you're a longtime resident or maybe you just packed up your U-Haul, today's show will be a fun ride through why Ocala is stealing hearts, plus some hilarious moving stories that'll make you feel a little bit better about your last moving disaster. And of course, we're going to break down the local real estate market for those of you thinking about making a move, whether it's here or elsewhere. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the big reasons why people are flocking to Ocala. First off, as mentioned, affordability. I know I've said this before, but it's worth repeating. You can buy a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, double-car garage home here for right around $250,000. That's the price of a parking spot in some of the other Florida cities, right? Well, with the influx of people leaving those pricier markets in like Miami, Orlando, Tampa, Ocala feels like this hidden oasis where you can actually breathe. You can actually have a life instead of working all the time and traveling to work all the time. You're not fighting bumper to bumper traffic. I know traffic has definitely picked up, but it's still nothing compared to some of those other cities. And you can still get a decent meal without breaking the bank. And it's not all chains. There's a lot of mom and pop shops that make some really amazing food. Plus, Ocala's still got that small town with a lot of charm kind of vibe going on. It's, it's the kind of place where you walk into a coffee shop and the barista knows your order by day two. You walk into the bank and the teller knows your name and you have a conversation. There's something comforting about all of that. Do you remember that old Cheers uh, bar, that theme song, I want to go where everyone knows my name? It's still true. Now, let's not forget that we're sitting on some of the most beautiful land in all of Florida. Of course, we don't have the oceanfront properties. We don't have the beach. But Ocala isn't called the horse capital of the world for nothing. We've got over 600 horse farms in the area. And if you've never driven past some of those sprawling green pastures at sunset, you're missing out. I happen to know from experience because that's my ride to and from my office almost every day at sunset, especially when it's just sparkling right through the trees and onto the grass and the horses are out in the pastures and they're just so peaceful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so grateful 
to be able to see it and to live here. Every single day, that's the feeling I have as I'm in traffic. That's amazing. You definitely don't get that feeling anywhere else. Ocala is definitely charming. That is definitely for sure. And I mean, where else can you go to watch a world-class horse show in the morning, go hiking in like Silver Springs State Park or Juniper Springs or something like that in the afternoon, maybe go zip lining, horseback riding, something like that, and still have time to hit up a local barbecue shop for, for dinner. It's not just locals who are feeling the love for Ocala. According to the U.S. News and World Report, Ocala is ranked in the top 10 places to retire in the entire United States. We're officially a retirement hotspot. But it's not just for retirees. We're seeing families, young professionals, and everyone in between are making the move. And you can definitely see that with how many more students we have in our schools. So obviously, it's not just retirees that are moving here. If you happen to be a nature lover, Ocala's got you covered as well. With more than 600 lakes and springs just in our county alone, plus access to the Ocala National Forest, it's a paradise for those who love the outdoors. Fishing, kayaking, hiking, biking. We have one of the greatest bike trails ever. We've we've got it all. And the best part, you don't have to fight hordes of tourists to enjoy it. It's like we're living in the Florida everyone else wishes they had. Now, let's go ahead and shift gears. Moving to a new town is always an adventure. And trust me, I have heard some hilarious and sometimes cringy stories over the years of people that are, you know, moving, moving to and from Ocala. But let me tell you a few of them. Uh, We're going to start with a guy named Mike. Mike's moving to Ocala from up north, right? He's driving this massive moving truck down, one of those rural back roads, you know, the ones, the canopy of trees and all of the, you know, beautiful uh, greenery everywhere and not a single person, not a single soul is in sight. All of a sudden, that's when he sees it. A peacock decides to strut across the road like it owns the place. Mike slams on the brakes. There he is sitting in the middle of absolutely nowhere and nothing with his entire life packed in the back of a U-Haul and he's staring down a peacock. His wife is frantically Googling what to do when a peacock won't move. Welcome to Ocala, Mike. And a peacock is really one of the lesser evils. <laughs> you, you actually lucked out with that one. We've, we've definitely got the wildlife out here. Anything from monkeys to very large, uh, very angry cats to uh, wild boar to bears. I mean, really alligators are the least of your worries out there. So there's, there's a lot of wildlife. Um, but what about the greenery we mentioned? Well, then there's Sarah. She moved here from New York. She thought Florida, right? So it's going to be this tropical paradise. So she orders up a whole bunch of tropical plants. She had 12 coconut palm trees, okay? She has those delivered to her new home. And yeah, you probably guess where this is going. She didn't realize that um, her backyard wasn't exactly a tropical estate. So now she's got 12 potted coconut palm trees and nowhere to put them. Uh, But, you know, at least it's a conversation starter, right? But it's not just the people here who have the stories. You cannot forget us real estate agents. I have heard from a local agent who had a buyer show up to a house with, they were just touring the house, but they showed up with a metal detector just to make sure the yard didn't have buried pirate treasure, you know, just in case, because Ocala is clearly where the pirates hid all of their, you know, uh, with no ocean front and all that's, that's where the pirates, uh, hid all of that booty, um, me thinks not. <laughs> well, there's a, a lot of standard questions I know to ask when I'm doing a buyer consult- consultation. Like, you know, if I were to give you the keys to your new home on a specific date that is perfect for your timeline, what date would that be? You know, you ask the questions, you learn to, to ask the questions that make them stop and think a little bit instead of just asking something like, so what's your timeline? Because if you ask a very broad question, you're going to get a very broad answer. At least that's my idea. So I have noticed with so many people moving here, they have a very different mindset 
some of those questions have changed considerably for me over the last few years. I nearly made a huge mistake, for example, with some awesome guys that were moving here from Miami. They were so much fun. I had a blast working with them. Uh, I honestly felt like I wish I could have like spent even more time with them even after the sale was over. Uh, but they actually, <laughs> they said that they wanted to move to a rural area. They wanted to live out in the country and they wanted to have lots of trees. So of course, you know, my mind goes to the forest where there's, you know, like monkeys and alligators galore and all sorts of stuff. Plenty of trees. We got this. Okay. All right. No problem. Right. So I'm ready to snag heavy CRV because my Prius doesn't get Baja down those roads that aren't really roads. So these guys come up here and thankfully we sit down one last time in my office before we go out and look at the houses. And of course I had some houses all set and ready, you know, they're to go and show them, had all of the appointments and everything. And, um, you know, just, just final check just to make sure I understand what we're going to be looking for. See if there's any houses that they happen to see. Cause I swear everybody shops on Z- Zillow these days or they Google up houses on their phone. Well, anyway, they start talking about houses that they've seen and they're showing me these houses and all of the houses they're showing me are within the city limits. And I'm getting really confused. I mean, really, like, did I have it completely wrong? Like, what in the world? They said really rural. They said lots of trees. They wanted to be out in the country. I mean, I was ready to go for, like, you know, a ride where it's going to take 30 minutes just to find a grocery store kind of place, you know? Well, I start asking more questions and come to find out what they consider rural and country living is actually what we consider our thriving metropolis, They found a house to love about a mile or two away from downtown square. I'm not kidding. I could not make this up. They still had some lovely trees though. So that's awesome. Um, But I'm really glad that I didn't take them Baha'ing and really had that communication because I think they would have been horrified. They would have thought like all of Ocala was like that or something. It was just, it, it was a little rough. So now I've, I've added a few more questions to that buyer consultation, and uh, I try and get very specific <laughs> as to what they consider rural, because I think their definition of that being from, like, Miami, and my definition, being in Ocala, very different definition. So, that kind of stuff, yeah, definitely makes for an interesting day if you don't ask the right questions, and uh, yeah, it definitely did that day for sure. All right, let's go ahead and switch gears a little and talk about something that you guys are all probably curious about. That's the Ocala real estate market. Now, if you've been thinking about buying a home here, you've probably heard the market is going up and down and kind of going a little crazy the last few years. And it's totally true. Uh, We do have a lot of people moving here, more so than ever before. And that has driven up demand. But we also have a lot of houses being built, which is great. Uh, So, you know, things are kind of there's supply, there's demand. It's just kind of a little odd right now. Well, currently the median home price in Ocala is right around $275,000. But it is actually looking like it's going to go up soon. Uh, It has come down quite a bit because of the interest rates, but that's been pretty much valid across the country. Compared to other cities in Florida, The same house that you can buy here for $275,000 is going to be $400,000 or more or much more if you're in one of those other cities, Boca, Sarasota, uh, Tampa, Orlando, Miami, for sure. We're still kind of in that sweet spot. And if you're thinking of renting, well, let me tell you, if you are thinking of getting like a two bedroom or excuse me, a three bedroom, two bathroom home you know, a little cookie cutter, concrete block, whatever, um, renting something like that is going to be under $2,000. So it's not too shabby for rentals either. One of the things making Ocala so appealing to new buyers, especially are those new construction homes. We are definitely seeing a new construction boom. Builders are cranking out homes as fast as they can to keep up with demand. I know everyone is freaking out because they're seeing these developments and they're seeing these houses all over the place, but they wouldn't be building them if people weren't buying them, okay? People are buying those houses. Remember, we're still trying to catch up 
for the last 10 to 15 years where not a single house was constructed in the entire county. We were hit hard, very hard with the recession. And it took us a long, long time to recover from that. So now we're just seeing what should have happened in the last, oh, 12 to 15 years is happening in more like 24 months. So yes, you are seeing a lot of stuff um, happening, but really in a normal, if everything had have just continued as normal, we would have seen that little by little. Uh, it's just, it's it's being done by, by the market. And right now, huh, the market is good. All right, here's a tip. If you are serious about buying, definitely work with a local real estate agent. You do not have to work with me. It's okay. I will not hold a grudge much, but <laughs> I would still recommend working with a local real estate agent, especially one that knows about new construction and the options they're in. The Ocala market moves fast and good stuff at a good price does not last long, even if the market's slow. So a local agent will know where to find the houses, the hidden gems, the stuff that's not even listed yet or ever. Plus, they can also help you navigate the whole process after you go ahead and get under contract. It's not like they just stop working then. That can definitely feel very overwhelming because you're working on moving. You're working on getting the paperwork over to the lender and stuff like that. So also having, you know, the whole process of purchasing the home, doing that on your own, especially for a first time, it can definitely be very overwhelming. All right. We've talked about the numbers and the funny stories, but what really makes Ocala so special? Well, it's the people. I mean, and the lifestyle. Ocala has this like laid back vibe. But at the same time, there's a lot going on. We have so many local festivals. We've got farmers markets. We've got art shows. And of course, horse shows galore. Okay, so we've talked about the numbers and the funny stories. But what really makes Ocala so special? Well, it's the people. Of course, it's us. In the lifestyle, I mean, Ocala has this laid back vibe, but at the same time, there's a lot going on. We've got local festivals like crazy, especially this time of year. They're just starting to get cranked up. Then we've got the farmer's markets, the art shows, and of course, horse shows galore all year round. You can be out in horse country one minute and then in historic downtown the next and and then right after that grabbing a bite at one of our amazing local restaurants. And speaking of food, if you haven't tried barbecue here, you're missing out. Ocala does barbecue right. Nationally recognized, thanks to some of our locals here. But for those of you who love like history, Ocala, Ocala's got plenty of that too. We've got beautiful historic homes, many of which are dating back to like the early 1900s. Our downtown is a charming mix of the old and the new, and there's something really cool about living in a town where history is alive and well and easily seen all over the place. In fact, in the Danellan office that we have, it is actually one of the pure oil gas stations from the Uh, early 1930s. But honestly, what I hear most from people who've moved here is that Ocala just feels like home. It's got that community spirit where people still like wave at each other on the street and where neighbors are actually neighborly, which is unheard of in some places these days. It's the kind of place where you can put down roots, raise a family, or just enjoy a slower pace of life. All right, before we wrap up, I want to talk about something that's been on a lot of people's minds lately, and that is interest rates. I know I kind of touched on it already, but how is that going to affect us here in Ocala? Well, if you've been following the real estate market over the past year, you've probably noticed the interest rates have been climbing higher and higher, and it's had a big impact on buying a home, whether it's here in Ocala or really anywhere else in the country. For a while there, mortgage interest rates were hovering at 7% or even higher, which definitely made people think twice about jumping into the market. To put that into perspective, just a couple years ago, people were locking in rates at 3%. So you can imagine the sticker shock. Those higher rates caused a bit of a slowdown in the market. People weren't as eager to buy because they knew their monthly payments were going to be significantly higher, maybe even double. 
even here in Ocala where homes are more affordable, those higher rates were giving buyers pause. But hold on to your hats because there's been some news. Recently, very recently, the Federal Reserve dropped the rates by 50 basis points overnight. Now, what does that mean in plain English? It means that the cost of borrowing money just got a little cheaper. We're not talking a massive drop, but enough to get people's attention. Now, what will this mean for Ocala and the Ocala market? Let's break it down. For one, we're likely to see more buyers come back into the market. Those people that were sitting on the fence, waiting for rates to come down, well, they might start feeling more comfortable about jumping in. Lower rates mean smaller monthly payments, and that could make a huge difference when you're looking at a 30-year mortgage. That said, don't expect this huge mad rush overnight. Even with the 50 basis point drop, we're still not back to those historically low rates we saw a couple of years ago. But it's a positive step in the right direction, and for a lot of buyers, it could be the nudge they need to get back in the game. For sellers, a lot of them have not been wanting to sell even though they really want to move because they don't want to give up that rate that they had from years ago where it was 2 or 3% interest rate. They couldn't fathom going to 7 or even 8% from that. So this might make it a little more comfortable for people to come onto the market. So we might start seeing more houses come onto the market, even though there's more buyers coming onto the market. So since we're seeing more demand with buyers, it's also going to help push those sellers to putting stuff back on the market. And before that happens, prices may tick up a little bit higher. Probably not a crazy amount, nothing like what we saw during the pandemic, of course, but it is definitely going to have a major impact on the real estate market, and it's going to have that probably going into the new year. So right now, from now until the new year, we're going to see some definite change and some different movement, okay? Here's the thing to remember. Ocala's real estate market is still very strong. With this or without this, it was still very strong. We've got steady population growth, a relatively affordable cost of living, a community that's attracting people from all over. We've got plenty of jobs. We've got a lot of things going on and going for us. So while higher interest rates may have slowed things down, we're still in a good place. And with this rate cut, things could get even better. So if you're thinking about buying, it's a good time to start looking again, talking to a lender again, seeing what you qualify for at this point. And don't be afraid to shop around. Um, Don't be afraid to shop around, not just for a house, but also for the best mortgage deal. And for sellers, this is a good time to start getting your ready to put on the market, okay? Go ahead and talk to your real estate agent now to figure out what you need to do. If you're thinking about putting it up in January, talk to your real estate agent now to find out if there's something that you need to do um, or something that needs to be done to the home or something like that. You've got a few months to get that taken care of over the holiday season um, so that you're ready to go come January 1st. Well, let's go ahead and talk for a few minutes about things you can do this weekend as you are enjoying the slight cool down of the Florida weather. I know for some of you guys out there, you're thinking this is cooling down. Yes, it is. And really, really more in October, but starting end of September, I guess. It's really all about the weather and the community vibe. I mean, summers in Ocala are hot, they're humid, they're uncomfortable, But once fall rolls around, everybody is ready to get outside and enjoy the cooler, comfortable temperatures. And really, October marks the start of that perfect Florida weather. So we're going to be seeing a lot more outdoor activities. Of course, we have uh, today the Ocala Downtown Market. And while that is year-round, right about now is when it really starts becoming a vibrant event. All right. We've got the live music, the food trucks, the local crafts, the fresh produce, of course, but it's almost like it doubles in size and activity once we get that cooler weather. So that's 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. today. So you have plenty of time to get on down there. Another thing you're going to start seeing a lot busier is the drive-in theater. 
it starts to get really comfortable this time of year and going forward, especially since you can enjoy the movies a lot earlier because it starts to get dark sooner. And it's just, you know, when it's slightly, slightly chilly outside in the evening, it's just great to watch those shows. The movies are new movies and really inexpensive and you get to watch two of them. So how could you not enjoy that? And it's open every night of the week. So get on down there. Uh, this weekend, we also have Ocala Comic Con. And that's going on uh, today and tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They've got a weekend of cosplay, comics, pop culture fun. Uh, there's some guest artists. There's vendors. There's contests. Uh, this year, it's going to be held at the World Equestrian Center. So you know it's going to be big. It's going to be amazing. And yes, I'm going to be there later on today. Then uh, we also have the Ocala Home and Garden Show. That's going to be September 28th and 29th. So next Saturday and Sunday, also at the World Equestrian Center. But it's a great way to get inspired with the latest in home improvement. You've got gardening, you've got decor. A lot of local vendors are going to be there. It should be a great event. After that, we've got Oktoberfest, which is a lively Oktoberfest with the German food and the beer and the live polka music and the dancing and it is just all in. And that is actually Saturday, October 5th and Saturday, October 12th. And of course, it's at the World Equestrian Center. How did I know? All right. The event runs 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Oktoberfest will include the U.S. Steinholding Association Florida State Championship. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but it sounds like something I would like to see. So there's also lots of other festivals. Uh, the Browns Farm, they have their fall festival with their maze, which is amazing, I have to admit. Uh, that is like 15 bucks a person, and you really can get lost out there. It is massive, absolutely massive. We've got so many other things happening in October that you definitely want to be a part of. So stick around for that. We will be talking about it every weekend going forward. All the stuff that you can go and do and see right here in Ocala. All right, that's about all the time we have for today. I know we went through all sorts of stuff, but it's hopefully answered some of the questions you might have had about some of the changes that you've definitely been seeing and feeling here in Ocala lately. I hope you enjoyed our little deep dive into why Ocala is the place to be. Obviously, you already know that if you live here, but it's basically because even with the affordable housing, the beautiful scenery, it may be the fact that peacocks might stop traffic on your way to the grocery store. All of that being said, Ocala is special. And no matter what quarter or quadrant you live in, because of course the one you live in is best, right? <laughs> no matter any of that, you really love the place that you live or you wouldn't live here, right? Thanks for tuning in uh, for What's Up Ocala. Next week, we're going to be talking about some of Ocala's best kept secrets. So be sure to join us then. Until then, keep enjoying this little slice of Florida paradise that we call home here in the Sunshine State. And we will see you again next week, same place, same time, Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Bye. You've been listening to What's Up Ocala? Follow us all week on Andrea Praber's YouTube channel and TikTok. We'll see you next week at 10 a.m. on What's Up Ocala.